we might go look at this hell raid thing just so that i can get it out of my quest log that upsets me so much while we're here in base we'll at least go take a peek um the bolters are the like kind of shy zombies we keep running into and then what else do we got we got to go to the construction site um because apparently they have something that they think can hurt the tower we got to open up the gas valves uh, we got to figure out what's going on with the woman who got evicted from the fishing village. And then I think that's all right now. Oh, I can actually cancel this and get this off my HUD. Oh, that's glorious. Goodbye. All right. We do also have some skill points to use here. So let us see. Camouflage. Learn how to use dead bodies to camouflage yourself from the infected. That's kind of neat. Or shield mastery. Um, haggle for prices doesn't seem terrible. Boosters have longer lasting effects. We haven't really done anything with the boosters. We unlocked them last time. And I think I just don't have enough of the... Uh, of the stuff yes yeah, speed booster we need herbs underwater algae night vision boosters stamina boosters those sound helpful but i'm i'm reluctant to put points in them when we haven't even used one yet um electric fence trap i think we might take haggle here just because it's you know universally useful to get better prices when we're buying up all the mats yo what up jukebox welcome in buddy then what else we got here? Brutal grapple. Forward roll is the thing where if we drop from a huge height, we can hit control to do like a shoulder tuck. Shake off biters faster when we're grabbed, I don't hate. Vault stun. If we vault the zom, we stun them. I think maybe the health regen. This might save me on health kits when we get away from uh, like some sticky situations. We're going to take that. I want to try and conserve health kits because I feel like every time we have them starting up, I like blow through them. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says, you know, what where you I should do? look for these insane, uh, bolters, super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here and here. Though you ask me if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. One of the streamers I'm friends with is doing a charity stream, so I went wild and dropped a 200 bomb gift. You dropped 200 gift subs? That's bonkers. What a cool way to give back to their charity. That's phenomenal. Come here. So cool, dude. Spin. Um, I don't want to buy that pistol at all. Sure deal for you. So apparently those bolters, we can get our hands on them on a couple different spots. Owl blade. Oh, there's a shop dedicated to Hell Raid. Da -da -da. Interesting. Afterlife's here. What's up, buddy? We can give. Let's go take a peek in Hell Raid. Why not? Maybe it'll stop yelling at me about it in our quest log if we've at least gone in and looked at it. Promises of riches led you to the forgotten Baal's temple. Within its walls, wicked forces gather their army, descend the temple, and upset their plans. Collect three parts of Clavistone to unlock the vault with its treasures. Afterlife with the seven months sub. Thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate you. I did the first in 50, and then they didn't set up a mass drop alert, so we had 20 minutes of gift subs. Oh, no. I don't even know how to do a mass alert. I my uh my brother for my birthday earlier in the year came in and dropped a whole crap ton of subs on me and it was a similar kind of a problem where I like uh, then had to deal with an absurdly long string of alerts, which don't get me wrong. Like that's not a complaint. It was very sweet of him. All right, so we've got our foul blade. So what? I don't understand. This is like Dying Light Dungeons and Dragons. Is that what we're doing here? 
<laughs> they fix it after you did the 50. Probably for the best, right? All right, we don't have a flashlight here, which makes sense because this is kind of ye olde. Perhaps I could get a bullseye lantern, sirs? I don't even know what I'm looking at. This is like Nazi zombies? I feel your presence. I feel you too, dog. This is a nice abode you got here. How crazy that they made all these extra assets. I guess this was a DLC though. Like I gotta forget that sometimes I'm looking at the sheer amount of content that I'm dealing with in this game and it seems outrageous, but if I had been an original owner of the game, they would have meted it out over months. Skyrim dying light, exactly. I'm down with that. Here we go. Oh boy. I don't know if it's just because it's so dark or what, but these guys seem way more menacing. I got no stamp. It seems like part of my issue at hand with some of the, like sometimes when I try and kill a zombie and it takes 55 wax has been based around me attacking zombies with no stamina. So something to keep in mind as I play tonight. We want to try and conserve stamina a little bit better. Yo, what up Bonsai? Welcome in my man. How are things? Hope you're having a good evening. Well, that looks ominous. I don't know that I want to hold F to use that just yet. It's freaking me out a little bit. What else we got? The gut spiller. Okay, little hook blade. All right, well, I guess our only choice is this creepy glowing gate. I don't like how long it's... Excuse you? I'm doing good, my man. Had a nice productive day, got a bunch of stuff done. Get to settle in and kill some zombs. Yeah, Jukebox, you recognized it. I liked Steins Gate a lot. So when I was trying to choose something to be my like little hello I'm here, I was like, what are what are some well-known like announcing yourself to the room noises? Afterlife, thank you for the bits. I'm sure those bits were more for Jukebox than anyone else. He's so pumped someone recognized the noise. It was Afterlife that turned me on to Steins Gate. So it's kind of his doing that it's on the channel. You have to finish it. It's worth finishing. I, it gets a little sloggy in the middle. I think it's really fun and I enjoy it. Um, but there's like two or two or so episodes in the middle of that initial season where it gets kind of tough as like, you know what's going on. The characters kind of know what's going on, but there's not actually any kind of headway made in the plot. The solidest of weeks, the solidest. I actually had quite a good week. It was busy, but I got a lot of stuff done for my upcoming move. We got a bunch of stuff done around the house, made a bunch of young meals, got my face ripped off by some angry ass zombies. Holy shit. Hisoka from Hunter Hunter. I don't, I think, uh, I think the I'm here is my only anime thing on the channel. I think all my other stuff is video game nerd stuff. Oh, look at you guys with the hype train. My goodness. How sweet. I appreciate it. All right, we can pull a lever to go through a door. I had no idea this was gonna be as extensive as it is. 
I thought this was gonna be like an in and out kind of a thing. Got some rusty shivs. Little hidden door. Oh my god, this is awesome. I have found a secret. And I got 82 ancient zombucks for it. I think you can do this mode co op. I bet you this is bonkers with four player co op. Well, yeah, I'll take the healing potion. <laughs> your, your dono earlier took a full hype train all the way up to 607% level 5. That's awesome. <laughs> what did chat do, Jukebox? Did the chat just like absolutely lose their shit it must have just been like a never-ending scroll of emotes what skelling tones now i feel like i'm playing death trap dungeon look at this okay more I'm very swashbuckler right now, I can tell you that much. They did freak out, I'm sure. I don't think I don't think you can be exposed to that kind of generosity and not lose your shit to at least some degree. <laughs> Went from one gift sub to number one gift sub on the channel. That's awesome. <laughs> I wish Twitch did something a little bit more spectacular. Oh, you are a warrior. Yet are you the warrior I await? Um, for like top seated or ranked gifters in channels, like something even if it was as simple as um you know when they do an emo it like shimmers a little bit right like just something to kind of give them their given due as a person of great renown on the channel i would love that there's a lot of stuff twitch could do that i would really like would you get off of me my guy you're gonna make me chug drinks and stuff all right, all right, everyone stop freaking out. I haven't jumped up onto furniture a single time here. I'm realizing that's part of the issue. All right, guys, what do we got? These blow up, right? Yep. I don't think we gotta worry about making noise in this mode. I think we can kind of just go ham. No, well, you live and learn. I don't know, I just drank some kind of wizard's potion. I'm gonna assume that this is like arcade style, so if we die, it's really not a big deal. All right, let's retreat a minute. Get back out of there. This really, you know, I was kind of kidding about it earlier, but this does wind up feeling a little bit like Nazi zombies from the uh, Call of Duty games. Or I guess just like any generic board mode, I suppose. Oh my god, I have no stamina. When they do their birthday stream in October, oh, you're gonna push it up till you get the next icon smart plus that'll pog the shit out of them on their birthday too right like don't get me wrong going all the way to 250 as soon as possible is also pretty awesome and like i'm sure they love it but saving some of it so that more than one stream can be impacted by your generosity that's big time 
this is leveling our normal dying light level um and that i don't know how much i love excuse you i don't know how much it'll matter because we're short on healing supplies so Good god Yo, I swear to God, I was joking about Death Trap Dungeon, and then they pulled out a skeleton that looks even more like it's from Death Trap Dungeon. Whoa! What the fuck is through magic in me? We gotta do some weapon, uh, some weapon consolidation here in a second too. All right, we kill the skeleton wizard. Is skeleton wizard the name of a band? Why would I take this? I bet you this blows up. Yup. What am I looking for? Oh, it's up here. I did do it. You know what's funny that you you calling me out for the I ducked in my seat a little bit IRL trying to get away from the uh, the in game item. Um, I've been playing off stream. I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight. Um, and when survivors try and juke me when I'm playing as a killer, and I have to like do a quick spin to try and make sure I still get him with my weapon, I definitely like jerk my head in my seat trying to get around to face them all right what's the what's the weapon situation let's uh 282 yo some of these things five hondo we can't we can't uh up or repair anything though this is all like one and done city no repairs, yeah. All right. Goodbye, friend. I want to try the Grim Scepter. How come we haven't done any Grim Sceptering? Yeah, exactly, dude. Only downside is it leaves so much viscer on my screen, I can't see what I'm doing. Oof. My man's used to have a cranium. All right, what do we got? Pouches. Battle mallets. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Now y'all just getting me too excited here. This does a thousand something DPS. Oh my. Another gut spiller. I wish there were more weapons just like laying around like I don't know maybe some some wounded or some previously felled dungeon delvers but that might just be me kind of more embracing the Skyrim meme <laughs> it does kind of look like Thor's hammer you ain't wrong Maybe I am Thor. I don't know that we have enough information for me to dispute that right now. Yo, can I get this in the main game? Because this rules. Get wrecked. I straight up have superpowers. That's one thing that I've kind of, I'm of two minds in Dying Light. Getting a super powered weapon feels really fun. Like, just like any other game, when you are suddenly OP as shit, it's entertaining. 
but I don't want to like ruin the game by constantly being OP. And normally I would say that I absolutely hate conditional weapon systems where your weapons degrade and break, but it keeps this game from making me kind of like, okay, I found a broken weapon. Now do I either use it or do I throw it out so that I'm staying fair to the game? Because if I use it, it's gonna run out. And once it runs out, I don't have OP weapon anymore. Kind of resets the scale. I did also see someone was saying that um, the weapons damage and scaling kind of is all based on your level. So there's never really any reason to hold out and save a weapon in reserve. Because if you just keep playing and keep gaining levels, the weapons you get will just be better. Did this unlock below me with that lever? Yes. What up? You're probably going to take two hits because you're thick. Okay, my hell raid levels up. Excuse you. Do you think I was done? Oh, come on. She knows. Be careful. Who is she, sir? Well, that's, I mean, that's kind of one of the things about this weapon that's so busted right now, right, Jukebox? Is I don't even have to double tap. I'm just doming guys with my first swing. Y'all motherfuckers gave me a Dark Souls style boss health bar. Maybe just, maybe just don't go in. Oh, hi. I agree, sir. Uh, yes, it is combat time. Ow. I was really hoping to keep most of my blood on the inside. All right, get in, get some distance, chug a potion, right? Classic, classic map exploitation. Then we'll chug one of these booster things. God, the x-ray effect is hilarious. Oh, hi. How's that feel? You ready for a nap? He actually was like, no, I just straight up don't give a shit. Let's just go slug it out. I don't have the stamina to just go slug it out. All right, all right. Give you another of these. Oh, I don't have any more of those. Just hit you with some throwing daggers. What up? Yo, those things hit for a fucking truck load. Yo, that gave me a whole bunch of uh, medieval horror bucks. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that I use so many of them now because apparently they're amazing. Always save your shivs, kids. You want to let me in? Looks like I can get over there, but... I don't think that door opens. This has got to all be randomly generated too, right? This is just straight up roguelite. Oh wait, are we back out to the front? Is this where we were in the beginning? It looks like it. Hello, Clavis Stone. Apparently, we've taken an item. Oh, Clavis, my apologies. We gotta get two more of these bad boys? Why don't I just, like, creep along the edge and drop down onto it? Is that a thing I can do? Nope. You 
can't do that, unfortunately. Reach Hell Raid rank 10 to wield Surter, legendary two-handed axe that can set your enemies on fire. I got too much like I was treating it like Skyrim, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if I want to continue in here, though. This is going to turn into like a Hell Raid stream. I think we're going to go back to the slums. This is fun and entertaining, certainly, but I I want to I want to do our actual Haran quests. I like thinking about it as actually being an arcade ma uh, machine here in the headquarters, though. So, yeah, check that out. Now we can just buy these guys with our Hell Raid monies so we could buy a gut spiller. But they have, like, shit for repairs, which, again, is probably more than anything. It's just a balance. All right, so is one of these a real quest? I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. Yeah, so I don't want bounties. Look for crayons in the abandoned school. I don't, we don't need to pile on random quests. Is this guy still just talking to me about the red smoke? The scouts have seen people entering the oh, school. Oh no, okay. Something's going on there. They might actually have Thor's hammer. You're not wrong, right? If they're leaning into the mythology side, maybe they do. Yo, what up card shark? Welcome in buddy. All right, let's pick which of the actual quests we want to go do. I think we're going to go do Gassed Up because we had started trying to uh, address this one and I got sidetracked. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Before we leave, though, let's go take a look at what we got clothing and stuff wise. We got to go upstairs for that, right? Well, no, let's just hit a different. We can hit a different safe zone while we're out. Bolters. Bolters appear at night and can be found at their feeding grounds marked on the map. If you hunt for them, be extra careful. They're easy to scare and they run very fast. Bolters' feeding grounds are usually protected by volatiles. Use firecrackers to distract them. This is going to sound real stupid, right? So I just kind of want everyone. Hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station helping Morgan prep the barge. Okay, no problem, Spike. Um, what I was going to say is, this is going to sound stupid, so cut me a little slack. It 100% never occurred to me to use firecrackers with the volatiles. Because of the fact that, like, the volatiles are so much more sensitive to noise, I was like, oh, I wouldn't want to make noise when the bolters are, or when the volatiles are around. Can you imagine just jumping to a street light? He looked like he wanted to stand up and then just gave up on life. We got some rice soldiers here. You can't get us all. I mean, I can get you all, sir. How's your clavicle? Oh, he got out? Boo. There's some serious drop on the arrows. All right. Next time we'll have to be a little bit more aggressive. Get in there. Get in there with the, the melee. First game you did on super, on Xbox was super hot. Dude, super hot is bananas. Um, Is that... Do they have that for... Uh, game Pass for PC, Card Shark. Can you even with the Game Pass version? Can you do that with VR? Because the VR for that is absolutely bananas. So. 
give me your power cables. You should check to see if the VR, the VR one might technically be a different game. So I, I, I can't 100% know if that is uh, the case for the Game Pass version of it. But man alive, if you can try that in VR, you absolutely should give it a go. Uh, this is the witch that guy was talking about, if you guys remember. I sent for you days ago. Are you always so slow? Perhaps you are resistant to my summons. Good. The strong ones are more difficult, but always so much more worthwhile. You must be the witch. Such prideful contempt. But of course you do not believe in such things. Look, I'm here because I've been told that you... that you have an ability. You want to know how I walk among the Immortui without drawing their attack. Is that not so? Huh? Is it possible? For you? No. You are far too crude and ignorant to obtain such deep knowledge. I appreciate your fair judgment. Way. Something I could make for you. It's fine, I'd be willing to trade. You are only here because I wish it. And it is my wish that you have this ability. You will need it to be of service to me. Tonight, you will go to the caves while the volatiles are out hunting. Collect as many black mushrooms as you can carry. And I will use them to prepare a tincture for you. Okay. That is all I require Mushroom. from you. For now. Okay. You're uh you're kind of an intense lady. I'm just gonna be blunt about it. Alright. Check the old stash. Um, we don't need everything we're carrying. We can tuck away some of these guys. Keep the police rifle for a rainy day. We can just straight up dismantle if you're not at least of decent quality. Uh, get rid of our throwing stars, throwing axes, the conducting liquid. I never actually know what the hell it is. We'll keep the UV flashlight, coffee. And then let's see what we can make with this pry bar. Um, man, I hate how they do this. I wish that they could just like collapse my inventory. Uh, what can I craft with? So the punk queen, we made one of those before and it was okay. It was kind of neat. Inmates kiss, hard hitting wrench. Will this turn it into a wrench? That's weird. Etiquette is crucial to every agent. These are all DLC weapons. I think we're going to not make a DLC weapon um, just because of how OP the lupus knife was. Let's do this. This is going to add impact and make this thing swing even harder. So let's make one of these guys. Cuts deep, adding small bleeding. Yeah, okay. So right now we just have like the mini upgrades. All right, so this is now a modified pry bar and we're gonna upgrade it. What are we gonna give it? Just more raw damage, a couple extra durability points. Here we go, we'll give it night. Oh man, we can really load this sucker up. F it, why don't we? We'll go full YOLO on this thing. All right, our pry bar is now the coolest weapon in the history of weapons. And we're gonna use it to go turn on some gas valves. Attention, attention. Since you cannot hear dog whistles, we are forced to communicate with you directly. You are ordered to come immediately. This is Queen. I hate Tolga. Is that you, Tolga? Uh, he wants to talk to us. Well, I don't want to talk to him. Well, what Anything? if I don't give you a choice, You're douche? To come immediately. That is all. Shut up the radio. How did I land directly between them with that dropkick? That's outrageous. 
All right, there should be a gas valve here. Oh, this is what we saw earlier. I understand. Why is my flashlight on? Oh, excuse you. Jesus, lady. That fixed it. I don't know why my flashlight is... Oh, there it goes. It can toggle now. Earlier it wasn't. Alright, we'll get in and deal with this idiot. Um, what's the easiest way from the bridge, maybe? Because I don't... Oh, I could make it. Oh, he bitch slapped me. Oh, no. Oh, we both dodged the same direction. Dunzo. All right, well, we're going to take your rebar. Oh, I did not mean to switch lupus for that. We'll just take it with us instead. And then we got valves to turn on. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, one of three gas valves handled. And a ton of zombies that hate me even more than they used to. Take this way out. Someone over there is mad at me. Let's try and make sure I'm always parkouring to my objectives when I can for the bonus points to agility. It's not always a ton, but every little bit stacks. Oh, I'm s sitting in a safe zone, though. That's kind of lame. Um, is this the blocked off tunnel? No. Hi, guys. Out of stand. I gotta keep my eyes open for upgrades that give me more stamina and shit. Oh, and we gotta go back, because our valve is in that tunnel. I barely healed in time. Alright, let's deal with this asshole. All right, we gotta go into the tunnel. And I think I got myself twisted and turned about. Is it up here on the left? Yeah, 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 okay. We gotta go like into the side area of this tunnel. I know a lot of empty duffels lately. Get a handful of them to set on fire, love that. Oh, hi! I like straight up walked in on some kind of like club meeting. Thanks, buddies. Oh, sorry. She's really not feeling that. That didn't go great. Hey, 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 what's your deal, buddy? Can I shut this door? No. All right, let's let's get this valve open. All right, that's two. Check some more pockets. Why don't you stay down? Got nine million zombie wallets in my pocket.
Just remember, every one of you that's contributing your wallet is helping to buy more materials so that I can kill more of your brethren. Ooh, and coffee. Um, before we run back outside, let's make some health kits. One. And then let's make some firecrackers, because I think right now I'm only carrying um, fireworks. One, two of those. Right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. How about eat shit? Peace nerds. Alright, we gotta... Oh, not as peace nerds as I would have hoped. We gotta go get the last of the valves. A lot of y'all over here. I got an idea. Why can't I equip those fireworks? Oh. Because I'm not actually putting them into the inventory. <laughs> This should likely give us a ton of zombie kills. And like, yes, it's gonna call some volatiles, but like, it's pretty rad too, so I'm gonna take it. How'd that go for you guys? How was the, how was the fireworks? Excuse you. Get violently ill all over my shoes. I don't appreciate such a thing. I swung my knife. Get out of here. Some zombies cheating right now. We are going to want to try and pick up as much of this shit as we can. I don't think I want to be in a dead end area. So this may in fact have been more effort than it really was worth. But I, you know, I look at all the uh, the household goods below me, and I think maybe, maybe not. Maybe it is going to be worth it. Just got to kill about a thousand more. Okay, we got a couple more that came in from the other side of the trap. God, I wish I had a move that when I shook them off of me, they just like, I snapped their neck or something. This is that fighting without stamina thing I was talking about. All right, all right. Now we gotta pick up everything. Oh my god, look at this. It's like a shopping mall. I heard something. Really? <laughs> Fixed it. Oh, 
Oh, come on, buddy. I'm sure there's enough savings at this yard sale for all of us. There's no reason to push in line. I don't ultimately know if this was worth it, but I am seeing, like, uh, there was some gauze. Okay. So that pays back the two health kits that I use. Probably made, like, four or five hundred bucks. Maybe more. Every couple of these are, like, worth 60 or 70. Yeah, I don't know. Undecided if that's really worth it or not when I get a big group like that. Probably not. If for nothing more than the time expenditure. But it's fun. I did take, like, nearly an entire, uh... Oh, this is guy we gotta talk to when we're done. I did take nearly an entire durability level away from my knife, too, so... That's something else to think about. Alright, under the over... Oh, let's take a sidetrack to this. Airdrop. Oh, it's not an airdrop, it's a survivor. I wish they used a different logo for airdrops and survivors. It triggered the angry crowd noise without me actually going through that roof. Say I was. Almost every gasoline station in Haran I owned. And when they announced the Global Athletics Games, it was supposed to be like, like a windfall. Like winning the lottery. That didn't work out, huh? Other side of the bridge. Granger, what do you think? Huh? I need you to stop Haran talking so I can go get this thing, bro. Place to live. Maybe a little backward in some ways, but we got by. And then... We won the bid for the games. Oh, all the promises they made us. Average citizens were supposed to become wealthy. And the wealthy, well, we were supposed to become kings. I am no king. All the dreams. All right, bud. I'm sorry that you didn't get as rich as you wanted. But I got, I got things I got to do. 